and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a long time since I recorded a Roblox video, but that's okay because here I am again with something interesting to tell you guys. So, something related to Valentine's Day happened to me like today at school. Um, yeah, so let's get talking. So, basically, it was nearing the end of the day. I'm about to go home. My teacher is totally not overloading us with homework. Um, Anyways, let's move on to the story. So basically, I am going to my locker because I got to get my stuff, right? I got to get my backpack out. I got to get my jacket. I got to put my banner and stuff away. So when I get to my locker, it takes me like, I don't know how long, 500 hours just to open my locker. And <laughs> when I finally managed to open my locker, I throw my jacket on the floor. I throw my backpack on the floor. And I was this close to closing my locker when I see a heart slipped note fall out of my locker. Like, I didn't was not expecting a note to fall out of my locker. So, when I picked it up and looked at it, abracadabra, it said, will you be my valentine? Like, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, bro, but it's not even Valentine's Day. I mean, sure, the note is, like, pretty cute, but, um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> I really did not know how to respond to the message that I got. The note that slipped out of my locker was cut out into a heart. And I'll say this again. It said, will you be my valentine? There was a heart drawn onto it and the writing was not great. So, as most of you could have guessed, it was a guy. A guy wrote that to me and I have no idea who wrote it. Yeah. And at this point, I was panicking, so I decided to show my friend who was right across from my locker. I gave it to her, and she just stared at me and started laughing, like, Girl, how is that supposed to help me? I really don't know. <sighs> you know, it kind of angers me. It still angers me. <laughs> so then, after I showed her, I showed my second friend, who was still in the classroom being, I don't know, <laughs> totally fast, fast like Sonic. I showed my other friend, and my other friend was like, Oh my god. God, I think I know who, who sent you this. And I asked her, oh, who do you think it is? And then she says, oh, I think it's this guy. That, like, okay, let's make a name for them. Uh, let's call them Mickey, yeah. So she said, oh, I think it's Mickey. I think Mickey wrote you that letter. Oh, how cute. And then I said to her, well, you know, I'm pretty sure that that guy likes this other girl, so there's no way. So then, hmm. <laughs> After all that happened, the bet ran. Like, can you believe that? I got a note. I showed my only two of my friends and the bell rang. Like, how rude. <laughs> so anyways, I brought the heart-shaped paper home. I read it over and over again, and I still cannot solve who wrote that. And I still do not understand how the person managed to slip a heart-shaped note into a person's locker. I mean, the lockers at my school, they is absolutely no holes in it. Well, I mean, <laughs> there are little tiny small holes in the locker, but it's, it's it takes at least like a few minutes just to get a piece of paper inside. So, hmm. Huh, I wonder. So, yeah, that's my story for the Valentine's Day special. If you guys have any like stories to tell me, you're more than welcome to tell me. And I am so sorry for stuttering so much. I forgot to drink water and I my mouth is feeling so dry right now. <laughs> so if you guys have any like Valentine's Day stories to share or if you guys, <coughs> sorry, if anything special happened to you that you think is worth sharing, then go ahead and tell me. Because <laughs> I am more than happy to read your, um, I am so bad at this anyways. I will be more than happy to share your stories and all that good stuff. So anyways, um, thank you guys for coming again. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.